Okay, for this project, you'll need an external hard drive that doesn't have enough space on it for you, a internal desktop hard drive that's compatible, uh, that has all the space you want, and a, a screwdriver set. Okay, uh, what, what most people don't know is that inside an external hard drive, there's really just an internal uh, type hard drive that you find in a desktop computer or sometimes on those really small ones, a laptop computer. But in this case, you can tell it's big, it has a, a desktop computer hard drive in it. So if you just take it apart, you can put in a new hard drive uh, that is relatively inexpensive. Uh, on Newegg, you can get an 8 gigabyte hard drive for uh, under $40. And you can get a 320 gigabyte hard drive for, for uh, $74.99. So, uh, yeah, so here's how you take apart my particular hard drive. It's a Acom data, whatever. But uh, it's it's really all pretty much the same. Uh, taking these apart, they're, they're pretty well engineered. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's just like a, it's like a puzzle, honestly. Okay, so what was really confusing me when I was trying to take this apart is that I didn't see any screws. There, there is a screw right there, but it had tape over it, and it said like uh, void if removed. Uh, so I was, I was pulling on this, and I was like, this black piece must come off, but it, it really wasn't working. So finally, I, I pulled off that tape and realized how clever they were, because there's, you need to take out this screw that was underneath the tape to, uh, to get into the hard drive. So they know that I opened it. But lucky for me, the yeah, this thing is old. It has no uh, warranty anymore. So you find the right screw size and you just take out that screw. And make sure that you have a space, a place to put your screws. I just use the top of the screw kit. And keep all your screws separated so that you know um, so that you know which screws go where. You can put them, you know, in the order that you took them out, or whatever. But anyway, so, so this piece comes off, and uh, I, I'm not sure this. There aren't any screws visible, but this top piece snaps off. So let's do that. There you go. So now I have this, and we can see the the regular desktop hard drive in here. So that's a good sign. Now there are screws here and here and here and here and here and oh, no, wait, no, see, <laughs> that's where you don't want to screw up. You see, these screws are in the, these, the screw is in the hard drive itself, so I don't want to take those out because then I'll be taking apart the hard drive. The screws are here, 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 and here. Uh, in hard drives though, you probably can't take it apart completely with just a regular screwdriver, so you're really safe. They have these, um, you know, hexagonal uh, screws, so uh, you don't really need to fear that you're gonna destroy the hard drive. Although you may not care since you're replacing it. Who knows? So now uh, the bottom comes off. I'm left with this tray. So there are four screws in the bottom, and so I'll take those out. So far, every group of screws that I've taken out have been different, uh, you know, kinds of screws, although the same screw never works. So that's why it's important to keep all the screws separated. Uh, yeah. Now the hard drive is free, uh, although it is still connected by two cables. So I pull those out, making sure not to damage the cables, although they're pretty sturdy. Now I have just this uh, thing right here. Now, uh, so now you're ready to put in your hard drive, but another application of this is if you have a computer that crashes and you need to get data off the hard drives, you can just you know, plug them in here. I don't even put the case back on and, and uh, transfer all the data to another hard drive. I did that once. Anyway, 
So now you have your, your new hard drive. Uh, this one's 200 gigabytes. I just rescued this from a computer that I broke somehow. Anyway, so yeah, so then you just match up the connectors. Oh, one thing is uh, this kind of hard drive uh, uses PATA uh, type hard drives, which have this long data connector. There's also another kind called SATA, which is just a little uh, short connector that's a lot more uh, concise, and it's also faster. But anyway, you just need to make sure that you buy the right hard drive to fit into uh, this slot. So you just push all that back in, and it's the reverse process.